The seven steps of the review process for cluster studies cover most possible reasons that a cluster study might not receive the highest rating. However, the standards covered in the Confounding Factors module and the Outcomes module, modules 4 and 5, apply to cluster studies just as they do to individual level group design studies. So a cluster study with a confounding factor or outcomes that do not meet WWC requirements receives a rating of does not meet WWC group design standards. Another issue that also applies to cluster studies is the exclusion of sample from analysis by the researcher. We first discussed this issue in the attrition module, which is module two. If excluding units creates differences between the intervention and comparison groups, it could introduce bias. Recall that, depending on the answer to three questions, the WWC treats the exclusions one of three ways. In particular, when the exclusion does not pose a significant risk of bias, meaning it does not compromise the random assignment and is either random or based on baseline characteristics, the WWC does not consider the exclusion to be attrition. Just as the WWC does for individual level RCTs that exclude sample members, when cluster RCTs exclude clusters or individuals, the WWC uses three questions to determine whether an exclusion has the potential to introduce bias. However, in cluster studies, the answers to these questions can affect multiple steps in the review process. When sample exclusions in cluster studies do not compromise random assignment and are either random or based on baseline characteristics, the WWC limits all attrition, non-response, and representativeness calculations to include only the individuals in the remaining sample. For example, a study might randomly assign classrooms to conditions but analyze only students identified as low performing on a baseline assessment. Because the exclusion does not compromise random assignment and is based on a baseline characteristic, it should not count as attrition, as individual non-response, or against the representativeness requirement. In this case, when assessing whether the students in the sample are representative of the classrooms, the WWC is only interested in whether they are representative within the remaining sample. A sample exclusion can affect the attrition, non-response, and representativeness calculations in a cluster RCT. A sample exclusion can also affect the representativeness requirement in a cluster QED. In other words, when sample exclusions meet these requirements, reviewers should treat the study as if the only individuals in the clusters are those in the remaining sample. The WWC also uses different procedures to report on the statistical significance of findings from some cluster level assignment studies. Researchers may choose to analyze data from cluster assignment studies using cluster level records, data on the schools, teachers, or classrooms, or using individual level records, data on the students within the schools or classrooms. This choice of the unit of analysis in cluster assignment studies has no bearing on the rating of a study but can affect how the WWC reports findings. Individuals within the same cluster are more likely to be more similar to one another than they are to individuals in another cluster on the outcomes of interest for WWC reviews. In other words, the outcomes of students in a classroom likely correlate with those of other students in their classroom. Similarly, outcomes of students in a school are likely to correlate with the other students in their school. Researchers need to account for this similarity within clusters when analyzing data at the individual level. If an analysis does not appropriately adjust for the similarity arising from clustering, then it is likely to overestimate the statistical significance of estimated impacts. That is, the study would be more likely to erroneously find an impact to be statistically significant. The WWC applies a clustering correction to adjust for the correlation of outcomes within clusters when two conditions hold. First, the unit of assignment, for example, school level assignment, in a study is not the same as the unit of analysis, for example, student level analysis. It is not necessary to perform an adjustment when the authors analyze cluster level data. Second, the authors did not statistically correct for the mismatch between the unit of assignment and unit of analysis in the study analysis. For example, a hierarchical linear model would include a statistical correction for clustering. 
The WWC performs a clustering correction in these circumstances to both cluster RCTs and cluster QEDs. This example illustrates the need for a cluster correction. In a cluster QED, the intervention group included schools with computer labs and the comparison group included schools without computer labs. Researchers gave the intervention schools a computer-based reading curriculum and estimated the effects of the reading curriculum by analyzing individual student test scores from the district's reading test. The analysis reported in the study did not attempt to adjust the standard errors in the impact analysis, even though the schools were the unit of assignment. The WWC would apply a clustering correction as there is a mismatch between the units of assignment, school, and analysis, student, for which the analysis did not account. The WWC applies a series of calculations to adjust a study's reported level of statistical significance to account for clustering. As discussed in the reporting module, which is Module 7, reviewers use the study review guide to make the necessary adjustments to the statistical significance of findings, including this cluster correction. The study review guide performs this adjustment using the following four items a t-statistic based on the study's analysis that ignores the clustering, the number of clusters, the number of individuals, and an intra-class correlation, or ICC. The WWC uses either the ICC reported in the study or the WWC's default ICC, which is 0.2 for academic outcomes and 0.1 for behavioral outcomes. For more detailed information on how the WWC calculates the adjustment, See Appendix F of the Procedures Handbook.